the histogram of the data on that highly paper, uh, cited paper on cardiovascular disease? Yeah, this is a paper cited almost 1,000 times. It was published in 2007. And it shows the uh, evolution across the ages of the death rates of uh, cardiovascular heart disease and cancer. And you can see they've had to make a, a sort of a histogram, a typical Excel type histogram just to show the data. Ah, and here we have the da same data shown as a trajectory. Each point on the curve is a different age category. And what you see is how the deaths from cardiovascular disease at higher ages rapidly outpaces that of cancer. Here we see it again as the curve evolves. Yeah, this dynamic uh, graphic has the advantage. You see the, the ages are really continuous, but they've had to group the ages into categories just to make the histogram. And here, if we had the data for every single age, we could make a continuous curve. Ah, wonderful. And also, if you had um, data for other years, you could show their trajectories on the same plot and it wouldn't get too cluttered. Yeah, that's Very right. nice, yeah. very nice. Mm. Now, this is, this is lovely, Mike, but what happens if we want to add um, textual data and include textual data in, in such a display? What do we do with that? Yeah, you see, this is, uh, this is a big problem. We've got all this data from Elsevier for the, for the Grand Challenge. And it's a huge amount of data. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, what do we do with just textual data? Just, just loading it is, is a problem. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's the huge files, and, and I'm getting headaches at night trying to do it. I'm getting, actually, I'm getting desperate about it. Oh, no. Uh, last night, I was so desperate, I, I wrote a song about it. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. Come, let's hear it, man. Well, okay, I'll play it for you. <laughs> you, know, you, you know that song called 16 Tons? Was, yes, yes. It was yes, made yes. famous by Tennessee Ernie Ford. It's, uh, it's an old it's, song. It goes, it's a mining song. Yeah, it's a mining song. It's yeah, about coal mining. There we go. It's, uh, I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. Yeah. I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal. And the storeman said, well, I bless my soul. You loaded yeah. 16 tons and why did you get? That's the song. Anyway, I made What's up, got to do with this day? <laughs> I made up the song about the about the competition. Ah, it's called 16 gigabytes. All right, let's listen to it. <laughs> of Elsevier text and we said to ourselves what, what the, the hell do we do next? next we loaded 16 gigabytes and what did we get another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter don't you call us cause we can go we still have to read 200 gigas or so Sweat rolled down as we started to dig. No article too small, no corpus too big. At the end of the day, we had thousands of files, dozens of programs and printouts in piles. We loaded 16 gigabytes and what did we get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call us, cause we can go. We still have to read a hundred gigas or so. <laughs> a question that is asked by all grand challengers. Are we text miners or just text scavengers? To find real meaning in scientific content. Is the challenge we face with determined intent? We loaded 16 gigabytes and what did we get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call us, cause we can go. We still have to read 50 gigas or so. We loaded it all with sore necks and red eyes. So many analyses, so many tries. Slowly we became a little more wise. And now we've got our eyes on the prize. We loaded all the text. And what have we got? A 
new tool which will help you a lot. This competition makes us reach for the skies. To the hells of your grand challenge, we will rise. Hey! 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 Elsevier!